Moon Prism Power Makeup. What's up, everyone? Thank you for joining us once again on the D Star Zero One channel. I'm your host, Dexter Raffles, and today we'll be looking at the SH Figure Arts Sailor Moon Animation Color Edition as well as comparing it with the original. I'm pretty psyched about this one, and you can get these at www.dstartoys.com. You're the source for awesome action figures. So enough of me talking, let's open her up. Let's see what we're dealing with here. This is gonna be pretty exciting. Love Sailor Moon. This is my childhood anime that I used to watch back in the early 90s. Love this anime so much. Fantastic anime as well as a good manga, manga. I really enjoyed Sailor Moon Crystal. I honestly wished that SH Figure Arts continued the Crystal line. Unfortunately, they decided to go this route. So, I mean, it's great that we're getting Sailor Moon Figure Arts again, but it's just sad that we're not getting anything new. No villains, no no uh, new character designs from Crystal and whatnot, which is so unfortunate. They're missing out on a great opportunity to release something really, really fantastic. I love the, the character designs of Crystal. Wow, there's a lot of tape on here. I'm, I enjoy the Sailor Moon Crystal design, and I really wish they just kept going with the other scouts. But unfortunately, this is what we're getting. But you know what? Nonetheless, it's just, like I said before, it's really great that we're getting Sailor Moon figure arts back in. So we're going to do a comparison with the with the uh, original release of Sailor Moon. But let's look at this one first in terms of paint D. Let's go to the front cam. So, looks like Sailor Moon, right? <laughs> Nothing really special here. I know that they just changed up the colors, but look at this. I absolutely love this figure. It looks fantastic. I love the Sailor Scout, the original Sailor Scout outfit. It looks solid with really nice matte white on all of her suit, as well as the, the red is matte, the blue is matte, everything has a beautiful matte finish, so when the light hits it, it looks absolutely gorgeous. The hair, I've noticed, is a little bit different than what I'm used to. I remember seeing, well actually, we're going to do the comparison later, but the hair is different nonetheless, the color looks different. So we're going to look at the, the differences in just a minute. Again, matte finish, love the skin tone as well. The eyes, absolutely gorgeous. Let's look at these beautiful blue eyes right here as they sparkle in all that anime glamour and everything like that. So one thing that also pops out are these boots. They are gloss finished. Uh, the original, I don't believe, is this glossy. I believe they added kind of like a uh, shimmering paint to it. But this one, it looks like they took out the shimmering paint and they gave it a gloss finish instead, which honestly isn't half bad. It looks really, really nice. So again, love what Figure Arts did here with this Sailor Moon. It looks really good. Um, you would not be disappointed if you're a Sailor Moon fan. Now, let's jump into the comparison here. This is the original release Sailor Moon. I got this pretty much day one when she was released um my issue with the original sailor moon figures all of mine ended up like this and i don't even play with these i just pose them and let's look here before we do the comparison as you can see right there there is a crack in that joint right there and after moving this around for barely any amount of time I, I barely played with this figure barely just posed it and sit it on my desk and already i am suffering from the weak plastic over the years i believe this figure is now almost six years old if i'm not mistaken if not seven so yeah that's unfortunate that the plastic was not high quality although the looks and everything look fantastic that is my biggest issue with this figure is that they use lower quality plastic on this uh so let's do a comparison so here's the original right here on my right, and here's the new one on the left. Let me tell, uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below. Which one do you prefer better? And I'm not going to lie to you. I hate to say it. I actually prefer the animation color much better. And here's why. Here's why. Um, I do like what they did with the shimmering paint on the original, but I just love a matte finish. If you guys have been following me on my channel for a while now, you know that matte finish is the way to go, right? It just looks better in any light. Uh, it, it's not super reflective, and especially when it contrasts with a glossy finish on the boots, it just it just looks fantastic to the eye. Whereas this one, they kind of just went with a glimmering look. I don't mind that, but you know what? I'm going to tell you right now, the anime, animation color to me looks better, feels better, uh, and as for the plastic, here's something that I have to know here. 
So let's look here. So here's the difference too. Oh, look at this, look at this. So here's another difference. The original uses a straight peg on the wrist joint whereas the new one uses a ball joint. That is completely new to me. Uh, wow, that's really nice. Also, just, just look at the new one. The new one has a much brighter, more vibrant white, maybe because this figure is so old. But yeah, I do like the animation one much better. And also look at the plastic here. The plastic on the old one just looks cheap. This is something that I see in clones, this type of plastic, like this kind of translucent white. Uh, where this one looks like it's not the same material. I don't know, 100%. I guess we'll see with the test of time if it'll survive. But as of right now, my old Sailor Moon uh, joint right here is busted. And, you know, it still works. Don't get me wrong. But it's so unfortunate to see that crack. Also, let's just look at the paint just in general. This is the old hand right here. The new one just looks so much better, so much more vibrant. Again, that could be just due to age, but this figure has never really hit sunlight. So <laughs> anyway, so that's it with comparison with the original Sailor Moon. Uh, you know what? We're going to go for something else here. We have the Super Sailor Moon here. I love this figure, by the way. Uh, Sailor Stars, I think so. Super. Sa it's been a while since I've seen Sailor Moon. It's been a long time. So this one should be newer. As you can tell, the colors are just more vibrant and more matte finished on the animation one compared to the more glimmering paint of the newer ones or the older ones and stuff like that. So it depends on what you're looking for. These are going to be more readily available, but I've heard from Bluefin directly that this is pretty much it. Once these go, they're pretty much gone. So pick them up when you can. So let's go into articulation and scale. Let's see how tall she's standing. She's standing at five and a half inches. Let's see how tall the original is. That's also five and a half inches. And so we're going to do a head to head right here. They are indeed the same height. So if you want to combine them with another favorite show, Dragon Ball Z, there is Saiyan raised on Earth Goku right there. You want to push her into the Marvel era. Sure. Here is a Marvel Legends Iron Man, as you can see really big in by comparison but let's see how anime heroes does and here's anime heroes deku so the scouts are tall but they are not like i guess wide uh i don't know if you would put these two together even with marvel legends it seems like they work more with just regular figure arts like figure arts goku right here so that's how they scale let's go into articulation no toe joint here but we do have an up and down here at the ankle single joint here at the knee ball joint here at the crotch so you can get all those knees kicks and whatnot and poses beautiful fabulous poses like like so and uh man these joints are really tight we do have an upper waist joint right here right below her chest or her breast right there but we do not get a waist swivel which is fine because we don't want to mess with the aesthetic of her waist right here we have a ball joint here double joint right here yeah that's a ball joint right there at the shoulder do we have bicep swivel kind of it goes well with the shoulder joint we have a bend here at the elbow ball and peg at the wrist like i said before and a ball joint here at the neck looking to be under 20 points of articulation oh yeah don't forget duh meatball head hello we have two here at the at the hair <laughs> so definitely about 20 points of articulation if I ever take a guess but you know we can do all kinds of poses we can do a side kick we can do a front kick we can do a flying knee we can have her do her glorious poses and whatnot right there skirts a little bit rigid but don't worry it looks like we can get her to do poses like so so that's pretty nice right there let's jump into accessories right here let's go to the top cam we get Luna, which is nice. We get her scepter, which is cool. We get three extra faces. And, of course, we get all her posing hands right here. And don't forget, we get a stand, which is also in there. Let's look at the faces. So you get three extra faces, as you can see right here. Uh, one thing that I have to tell you, let's go to the front cam, is that the crybaby face, let's see if we can focus up there, is actually supposed to be a limited edition face with the first one, believe it or not. But they decided to just give it to you this time around, which is fine. But it gets rid of the whole limited edition type feel like, oh, first edition, you got to get it because it comes with this face. But now they all come with it. So 
You don't have to worry about it being limited edition. Speaking of, let's see how this works. Should just be able to remove the front hair. Again, really tight. Looks like the quality control on these are much better than the original. Really tight fit right there. Wow. Extremely tight fit. Let's see if we can get this to fit. And there you have it. So there's her cry baby face. She's just crying. Oh, no. <laughs> really like this face. But again, not limited edition. Comes with all the Sailor Moons. I believe we are sold out of this on dstartoys.com. Uh, but we do have the other scouts. Uh, there is her yelling face in the name of the moon. I will punish you type face. Uh, and last but not least, let's look at another face. This is her happy face. right here and there you have it that is her happy face right there and that looks really really cute now let's go look at her cat luna let's see if we can focus up there and there is our beautiful cat luna with that wonderful kind of like purplish black um paint and i love that the ooh the crescent on her forehead is actually a shining gold. Believe it or not, that looks really, really nice. Love what they did there. And the head does move, and I believe the tail is also articulated, not her legs. So there you have it. That is Luna right there, looking really cute. And here is the scepter. We do not get the crystal on the inside. I don't think the original came with a crystal either, but there you have it. And let's have her hold it real quick, and then I guess we will come up with a conclusion. So I am going to have her hold the scepter real quick. So here we have it. There she is with her scepter. Let's see if we can focus up there. And that's how she holds it. It's just pressure fit in. You just push it in and it goes in. And there you have it. There she is with her moon prism power makeup. Let's get the hair. Oops. Let's push this back in. And have her pose like so. And there you have it. Let's come up with a conclusion of the animation color Sailor Moon. Let's come up with some negatives. I think the negative here is very subjective. Um, some people might like the original color better. I honestly thought I would. But after playing and looking at this up close, I can finally say that the... Um, the animation color is better than the original. I thought I'd like the original better because I do like the glimmering paint. But you know what? The animation color just looks better in my in my eyes. To some people, that is a negative. They're like, no, we need that glimmering paint back. We don't like the gloss on the boots. That's up to you. That's really subjective. To me, um, I think personally that I like the new paint better. Uh, I think a negative right now, as you can see, is she's having a hard time standing. And this is a, an original problem with all the scouts. Since they have small feet, they're just designed that way. They need a stand. You can't really stand these without a stand. When I stood all my Sailor Moon figures from SH Figure Arts, I always used a stand to stand them, which is fine. But I really wish they found some way to make these stand on their own. Or maybe even have a stand with pegs that, that's really like low profile. Just so, a peg that goes right into their foot and it's just like a circle or something. That would have been really nice. So besides that, here are the main positives. I absolutely love the finish of this figure. It just looks really nice, really vibrant. Love that they glossed up the boots. Uh, wow, just look at this. I love the hair. The hair is also really nice. Uh, one thing that I forgot to mention is that this one has a gradient in the hair. It kind of goes from blonde to like, uh, like a almost transparent blonde, whereas they decided not to do that this time. It looks like they just painted it solid and it just went blonde to dark blonde. It's not too much of a gradient this time around, which I 
I actually like that a lot. So there you go. Those are the positives. Absolutely love this figure. Definitely worth it if you're a Sailor Moon fan, and you can get these at www.dstartoys.com. Your live source for awesome extra figures. Thanks you, thank you for watching. Do not forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you're always in to know when I post new videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.